I really like watching these uh, Lulu compositions with Sivir, with Lucian that SKT runs. They're, again, very difficult to play out, even harder than the Juggermaw in a lot of ways because you have only 500 range on Sivir. That's Dragoon, too, it's having taken the big Raptor there in mid lane. Of course, already a little ahead in CS to begin with. Watch there coming in, the teleport coming in from Duke, and Gorilla's actually going to get caught. There's a Condemn into the wall. That would be an easy kill for OQ. Taking things off with First Blood once again, as they did in game one. Start catching up a little bit here in the bottom as four members of Naja show up once again in the top lane. No. It was a mistake to send Sivir bottom and then send Smeb top because the problem is you need the Sivir wave clear just to hang on right now. But Najin looking for uh, the Wolf Spirit helping out the Koo Tigers a little bit. Now two members still there, but it's going to be a five-man dive. They're already cut off from their escape, but double knockup coming in from Pure, and they all jump in. Duke gets one kill. Goong still putting out damage from the side. Prey is going to go down to Goong eventually. Smeb trying to chase up, but does he have the damage follow through? He does. He picks up the kill against Goong. They're trying to chase onto Okioki, Oki taking some tower damage, but Lulu can't catch up just yet, and Smeb also not level six. They will get the flash out of Oki, though. Okay, he's gonna try and void rush right back All over right. to the dragon. The dragon is already at half health. Here's a teleport in from Duke, and watch this round four, Mac Glacial Prison from Watch. As OQ skirts around, Goon trying to do damage with a spirit rush, and Wisdom will get caught out. Smep doesn't have Mega Nar ready. Gorilla goes down, Kuro really low. Prey is still at full health, though. Pure will go down. OQ trying to kite out Prey, but there's the Infinity Slash, and Prey flashes forward, and now the fight has turned around as Ku, Smep, and Prey go Quadra. towards gets a quad kill for Prey, and this is how you make this comp work for and the Ku Tigers. That was exactly what they needed to have happen. After that mid lane, as Smeb continues to grow now with a hefty lead, and Wisdom does have to run away from Oki. Oki actually uses Blade of the Ruin King. Wisdom, can he get out? No, he's not going to. Oh, he actually gets to knock him onto Oki, but he will just get caught. Lulu still only has one spell that actually hurts you. Oh, well. Oh, they know the Tigger's is weakness, and that's Peekaboo as Prey gets caught along with Gorilla. The shutdown going to Washington. Oku getting a kill as Duke shows up. Oh, he misses the flash, though. Sakura will get a nice, easy escape. Going to just yet, Smeb is actually going to get cut out a little bit, but he's going to scare Watch away, and that's actually going to trigger enough to force Smeb to turn into Mega Nar. Uh, not the best timing as they just want to keep on pushing. Oh, but they're going to try to use him without that, but a double. Glacial Prison coming in from Wash to keep Ku at bay and a double knock on once again. Prey gets caught in the middle of that, but there's a wild growth. And Prey trying to turn things back around as Wisdom goes all the way deep to keep OQ and Goong at bay. Prey still at full health, but the enemy team might be a little too tanky. Nice boomerang blade catches OQ though, and that's gonna force both teams to back off with Wisdom, the only casualty. Throughout the minion wave, so the inhibitor turret doesn't take damage. He can get there in an instant if he needs to. So smart preparation from Wisdom. And here's a TP. Yeah, the top lane is pushing up, though. So Rek'Sai joining back up, too. Smeb gets caught by the Glacial Prison, but Prey is safe for now, still on the outside. And he's actually trying to go in, but he goes in a little too far. He still gets the kill onto Watch, but eventually he gets headbutted back. OQ gets the kill there. Smeb with a double stun under the tower onto Pure and Duke, but they're still really tanky as Goon gets another kill. Duke still alive, so is Pure. Eventually goes down to Kuro. But OQ now a little low, especially after that Glitter Lance. Him. And Kuro flashes forward, but he's not. Oh, he does with the help picks at the Glitter Lance onto Oku. Duke falling back to keep Goong safe, but Wisdom goes in with a knockup, and Goong is slowed down. Gorilla shows up, but the damage is a little locking between, lacking between Wisdom and Gorilla, and he goes down. Goong turns around for a double kill, and now Gorilla, the only member left. It's one, it's one another matters. one of those games where one of those little mistakes, with how fast these compositions can punish you. Prey really needs to watch out when he doesn't have exact vision. And needs to keep track. Oh, there's a red clear, and there's a knockup. Prey does get caught quite a bit. He's pretty low enough, but he flashes out after the wild growth, but he can't get back in just yet with Goon going around on the side with Spirit Rush. And Smep can't get the ultimate down before he dies, and Prey will just have to back out with such low health. And that's another thing where if Prey was playing Kogma there, that wouldn't have necessarily been a bad idea. Yet another tower with this Baron buff. 
But what matters most is at this point, Koo Tigers, they can't give up another inhibitor. Do there taking we go. a lot of damage, and they're trying to get the pick onto him, but he's so tanky, and Smeb does get caught by Oku, takes a lot himself, in fact, a little bit less, and a three-man Glacial Prison, but that's only going to elongate the fight a little bit as Prey joins up. Tibbers comes down onto Pure, forces the Unbreakable Will out of it as Prey chases forward, and Pure will be sacrificed by Najini and Fire. Kill going to Kuro. Still just putting some wards in there, trying to destroy Najin's ability to make these picks. There goes Glory comes out. Kuro, the one getting caught, but he's going to get out of it right away. Grill on the side, trying to put stuns down, and Prey gets head, put it back into the team, but he flashes right back out. Wisdom trying to zone as much as possible. Prey has an ignite on him, and he can't find a target to keep doing damage to, and he's eventually going to go down to Duke as Duke stays alive, asks for a double kill for Prey. But meanwhile, Oku is at full health, and they're just going to whittle down. An absolutely big Meganar, and Oku gets a triple kill, and that should be the game for Najin EM Fire. Wow, what a great cleanup right there. And I mean, you start to see some of these problems with the composition in the late game. There's just a lot more threats from Najin, and it's so difficult for Prey to stay alive. He picked up a couple of kills in that engagement, but so much crowd control coming in, and Pure Man has really done a lot of work on Alistair this game. Take down that inhibitor. They have a small minion wave, but it should be enough to win. So Najin bouncing back from that tough loss against Anarchy, but coming in with a lot more poise tonight, and they're going to take home the series 2-1. Well played by Najin. Bouncing back after a tough loss against Anarchy on opening. They, they win 2-1 against the runners-up of spring season, the Koo Tigers. They look pretty satisfied with that. OQ showing up pretty big with his vein today. 8-2-9 at the end of that one. Yeah, good setup too. They they had some really nice picks. Great synergy between Pure and Watch in terms of those knockups and those engages. So nice win for Najin. There's Bokuza, one of their coaches. There's Peanut. Jumping around. Very happy.